Baby on this evil and welcome back to today's AFK journey video. So in today's AFK journey video, we're going to talk about Z best day one squad for the Aurora team, which are your light bearer characters. So for today's video, we are going to talk about my best team on my account. But before I begin, right, we're going to talk about the ultimate Siege. So ultimate Siege has just been released on the test server right here. And uh, I thought initially it was basically all the units grouped together. But apparently it's not. It's basically the scores of all the four different squads added together to give you your total damage. And then your total damage will be ranked against the other players against their total damage to give you your final ranking which will give you the final ranking rewards so if you are in the top 100 to top 200 range right you will be getting this amount of rewards if you're like myself so if you want to secure your episode essence which is a really important tool to upgrade your ex weapon from 20 to 25 then you kind of want to score the rank 50 and above for wherever you are right be it your district or server itself so that's for the final server ranking okay so a total up of all the four different squads there won't be any more daily rankings after the ultimate siege begin so if you are somebody who's concerned with the frames itself with your valor rewards over here then you kind of want to score 250 points before the ultimate stage begins okay so that's it for the ultimate stage introduction a very simple addition of scores across the four different scores to get your maximum damage and with that let us move on to my main account let's go okay so we are back on my main account and uh, before we start talking about my best team i'll share my friend's best team right here so he uses a uh, lucius fresto merrily together with morale and cassidy very very disappointed with his uh, morale and cassidy being only paragon 3 and paragon 2 very very sad that you know he doesn't have the all diamondy looking frame but uh, he uses the evocation spell to form the hybrid team right here Okay, so if you take a look at the damage distribution, uh, Marley as well as Cassidy are the main damage dealer. Okay, with morale invested right here. And then for the second team, it's a physical attack team consisting of Vala, Corinne, as well as the Major right here. So this is the formation. Okay, for this one as well. So that's pretty much it for the best teams based on my server. And for my very own team. Okay, so I have a little bit of modification compared to my friend. I tried this uh, physical team, but I realized that the damage distribution was uh, really low for me. So my best team on record is actually one like this. Let me take up Vala, right, with uh, Marilee together with Cassidy. So I'm going to shift my Cassidy back here. And I'm going to put uh, Lucius in front together with a Faye in the team okay so the reason why i'm using phase is because i do not have my morale developed so i don't have that magical damage coming up from her like she does hit okay but because she doesn't have an ex weapon she doesn't hit as hard compared to my friend's morale so instead of her i actually chose to use Faye because Faye's ability is actually really really good for a hybrid team in a sense she has a heal which increases attack as well as attack speed of all allies which increases our ultimate or i mean our damage of the other units itself she also has a decent amount of heal to keep our whole team healthy and there's also a blinding light which is a deep buff that goes on the physical defense as well as the magical defense side so there's a little bit of rng there if it goes on the magical defense uh debuff on the boss then we get the buff on cassidy as well as Foresto. if it goes on the physical side we get a buff on lucius as well as herself and then merrily before she gets true damage so that's for the phase setup and i think that's really really good about Faye is that she actually has a good seasonal skill which allows her to sort of cast her skill twice because she's able to get this elusive mirage which is like a shadow clone jutsu so if you are able to get multiple debuffs on the boss that is beneficial to the main attackers of our squad then we will be able to amp out our damage but uh there's a little bit of rng for the aurora team itself because uh the units number one they're highly mobile so they like to move around a lot and if they actually position themselves properly to not get stunned by the boss itself we will be able to get pretty decent damage so my second team is as such physical team same as my friend right here just lower tier not as good as his but we are using quick hit spell for the physical defense as well as the damage physical defense debuff as well as the damage and then this one we run a hybrid team so without further ado let's showcase the team i'll run through the whole battle to talk about the variants for the aurora squad so for the aurora squad itself um there's a little bit of rng in a sense um where your merrily jumps as well as uh where she's positioned actually 
affects your overall damage output because when the boss actually pulls everyone together if Marilee uses the ultimate in time she can actually dodge this um this uh jumping out attack from the boss which actually increases your damage output by quite a bit because um that very precious few seconds where Marilee is not attacking you're losing a little bit of damage there so that's one thing which i think is pretty rng based another thing that's rng based is where Faye actually lands the ultimate because the diamond shape is actually a pretty small aoe which means that uh if the aoe is not placed properly or if the skill is not placed properly then it might not be able to buff your team properly so right here i think my merrily got stunned a little bit there but i think it's fine okay so the energy regen goes on cassidy for that magical defense debuff to be consistent for fresto as well as cassidy to do a lot of damage you can also try to put it on merrily if merrily is your more developed unit if your account doesn't have cassidy itself then you can put it on merrily so it depends on like i mentioned multiple times if you are like somebody with very very low resources in your account itself then put it on your strongest unit if you are using fresto in your team so even if fresto is one copy i think if you put him next to each other right to get a 30 percent damage reduction i think fresto should be able to survive and then if you run a fail like myself with that heal as well as the life drain from the evocation spell itself you should be able to survive so surviving is not actually an issue for the very first team but for the second team itself because there's no healer there's a chance that vala might die uh and you gotta pray that your Corin is able to shield enough to protect your vala from dying so there isn't really like a another healer you can obviously use hemi hemi does have a heal inbuilt in her kit and hemi the hamster is actually a light bearer character so you do get the fractional bonus and you can actually use her for the boss itself but in terms of uh, the late game side if you have your corin developed if you have your units developed and they're able to tank well enough i think you should be able to survive so right here we did 25.9 build Okay, I think I can definitely try to reposition a little bit better and see whether or not uh, we can do better damage. Okay, so just now we put um, Marily uh, away, right? I, I put Cassidy behind the main Fresto. Now I'm going to put Marily behind the main Fresto. Hopefully she's able to spam her ultimate more to reposition herself better. I even thought of using Rowan right here. But Rowan as a unit doesn't offer much for the, the offensive side of things because this unit is a very defensive unit. Although, yes, you do get your Fatal Grid, which allows you to spam your ultimate, but I don't think the ultimate is the main source of damage for this boss. At the same time, I think Rowan as a unit fell off so much that I think, like in terms of this boss itself, I don't think Rowan's going to do much because number one, Rowan doesn't do damage in the first place, right? Number two... No debuff on the boss, so the other units won't be able to hit harder. And number three, your team doesn't have much issue surviving in the first place. So you don't actually need Rowan's potions for that massive heal or boost, unlike when you're doing the AFK stages, when you're pushing all the massive deficits itself. So right here, we're going to try the same team, but a different positioning for Marilee, as well as Cassidy. I think Cassidy in this position will be able to hit harder or, or better in the centralized position with the ultimate. And then we have Vala right here. Okay, gonna I'm gonna keep this position. I think this has been doing pretty well for me. So same thing for Vala's case. If Vala is able to jump out of the boss's attack, then you will be able to actually hit like more uh, normal attacks on the boss itself to do more damage. Yeah. So this is one RNG factor. If uh, Merrily jumps out in time, or if she's able to be squeezed out by all the units that are clumped up at the center, then she won't be stunned, and that's where she will be able to hit a lot more because she relies a lot on her normal attack. So that precious few seconds is actually a lot of damage on heroes like Merrily, and it's pretty RNG based because depending on where she jumps, depending on uh, uh, when she uh where she jumps when she jumps as well as uh, how much unit is in the center that will affect whether or not the boss stuns you yeah so that is uh, one thing can you change jump 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 okay nice so merrily managed to jump out so that's where she's able to jam in a little bit more damage although my damage this time around seems a little bit lower maybe cassidy is another issue in terms of the damage output i think we should be able to still hit 15 bill please jump out Merrily, please jump out so you don't get stunned for the last few seconds. Ah, yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. So if if Merrily didn't get stunned, I think we could have done a few hundred more thousand. But I think it's fine. So let's continue. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna skip this battle and we take a look at the damage distribution. 
okay so yep 25.7 build so my max is 20 26 build so that's where the rng kicks in 26 build my highest record um i think in terms of um the free-to-play players um i mentioned this multiple times just focus on one team if you only have like those few units developed because if you put all your one team together number one if you're in a preseason itself your slash as well actually does more damage as well and at the same time because if you put all the tanky and built up unit together then you can put your healers in the other team to allow that team to survive longer to also do damage as well right to to sort of draw out the fight to get more damage in whereas you have a very first like a very strong first team for example i think most people should have um at least a merrily built up at least a korean built up and even a termasia built up if you have followed my recommended which this itself so that will be three units already and then you can obviously put in vala or fresto if you have fresto built up or right you can also put in one copy of lucius just for the heart of unity buff itself so this is for those of you guys in the song of strife season even if um you're not in the song of strife season i think lucius is an amazing unit to use right just for the shielding purposes so if you have these three units put in your wish list as i suggested when you first started the game then you just need to put in a lucius even if it's low investment to get the shield on and maybe right if your team still have issues surviving then just throw in a row one that is if you have issues surviving if not then you should focus on damage getting cassidy in or right getting fresto in if you have uh him built up at least i think maybe at least to legend tier the yellow color one because this unit with the 30 percent damage reduction should be able to hold on and then all you gotta do is provide all the juicy buffs on your other units to keep them alive or allow them to do more damage so this is for those of you guys who are lower on resources so that's pretty much it this is my best team right let me just showcase my best team once again so i'll just go to my best records right here so quite a bit of rng for this boss so like i mentioned if your if your result varies just retry a few times and then pray that your units don't jump onto the wrong spot or don't run into the boss itself okay so this is my team right here merrily cassidy faye right together with lucius and foresto and then the second team is a physical team right here so that's it for this video thank you very much for tuning in do remember to like and subscribe to see more see you guys again in my next video bye guys